I see this all the time in NFL stadiums, back of helmets, in-game. Inspire change. And I always want to say, what change do you want? Like, Roger Goodell, you're making $50 million to go out and govern a league and be the bulletproof vest for a bunch of owners. Now, let me ask you a question. What change do you really want? Well, now, the NFL, I'm going to get this right, they're pushing their initiative down all of our throats. That's right. They're inspiring change. And they've got gear, ladies and gentlemen, so if you want to get that gal in your life or that certain someone in your life, some inspired change gear, well, look no farther than NFL.com, and you can get inspired change gear, economic opportunities, yeah, they got it all. The inspired change hats are there for you. Look, here's what happens, though. This is what happens. All of these little hats are helping fund an organization that frankly doesn't want cops. That frankly was paid $300,000 to not want policing. No jails. Defund the police, they say. What? What? Inspire change. What change do you want? We want economic opportunities. All right. Hey, go, to, go get a job. Seriously. Wipe your ass, same thing I told white guys. Wipe your ass, clean yourself up, and go get yourself a job. There's your economic opportunity. Don't be afraid to start at the bottom and get a job and go to the top. Economic opportunities are all all over the place. Diversity hires have never been at a higher rate. But you know what? We want to inspire change. Defund the police. There's an organization out of Oregon that wants to defund the police. Now, as I said earlier, they have given, uh, been given $300,000. Inspire Change Partners will receive financial backing from the league. Multiple groups that have openly advocated for defunding the police. The social justice initiatives include the Vera Institute of Justice, it's always Oregon, the Oregon Justice Resource Center, and the Community Justice Exchange, all three of these groups, they, listen to this, they want to have our police defunded. They want no police. They want no prisons. Now think about that. Yeah, we don't want prisons. They want social workers to go into the hood. Now, we can all make jokes and we can all be afraid to say it, but 51% of the crimes are basically committed by 6% of the population, African-American males. So we got to figure that out. So guess what? You're going to tell me some social worker is going to go into the hood and say, look, guys, hey, how you doing? Everything okay? Uh, I'm here to help you help yourself. Really? Hey, lady. You got any money? I'm going to put a cap in your ass. See, I live in the real world. I live in a world where it is actual, not it is Pollyannic. Pollyanna sucks. Pollyanna is no good. I'm going to bring a social worker. And then on top of it, well, you can't, according to these groups, you can't have a white social worker go into an African-American neighborhood. You can't have an African-American neighbor uh, social worker go in. This is ridiculous. And I'm going to call it out because it is so ridiculous. And every time I see inspired change, I always want to ask, hey, dumbass, what do you want to change? Football player puts it on the back of their helmet. Inspired change. Listen to this. The hats feature the logos, I'll make sure I got this right, of teams with the platitudes, economic opportunities. Okay. Police, community relations. You know, that's idiotic and offensive. There isn't a police outfit in the world that doesn't go overboard in this day and age to have community relations. Criminal justice reform. Yeah, you don't want cops. Yeah, you want criminals. We want to acquiesce to the lowest common denominator in our society, the criminal. The person that takes people like me who work hard for their stuff, they want to take their stuff. Or they want to kill because they need something to do something else nefarious. Stop it, stupid. Social justice. Yeah, what does that mean exactly? What does social justice mean? What does it mean? 
It's all crap. It's seriously. It's all crap. The Steelers chose an interesting strategy. I'm, li- I'm reading this from Danny Z's article, who we'll talk to. When somebody clicks on the link in the post on X, formerly Twitter, he or she is taken to a page featuring Inspire Change hats right on the top. Those hats <sighs> inspire change, defend the police, defund the police. Listen to this. They are above the salute to service. So you got salute to service, but we don't want you. The NFL's full of shit, is what the NFL is. You're just pandering to every single group. You are. It began in 2020. Remember the summer of love when idiots came into your city and burned it down and all the little reporters, black and white, were afraid to call them out for what they were, which was idiots coming into your city and burning them down? You donate money to social justice causes, organizations that say, defund the police. Let me walk you through some of these organizations, shall I? There's an organization in Oregon, I'm again, I want to make sure, right, Community Justice Exchange. The Community Justice Exchange vision is a statement that reads that the group is working towards a world, remember this, without prisons, policing, prosecution, surveillance, or any form of detention or supervision. How about that? That's a group that wants to defund the police. The the website that announcing its relationship with the Community Justice Exchange, the NFL forgets to tell fans that we're funding these groups that don't want police. Now, Danny Z writes, it's unclear how much money the NFL has funneled to the Community Justice Exchange, but it announced that a similar group The Oregon Justice Resource Center. Why are we caring about Oregon? Like, who gives the rats? They received $300,000. How about that? This group says we need social workers and programs, not police. We need truth, not empty gestures. Asking people to respond to the violence of the system with nonviolence, without rebuking a violent system. Shut up. It talks about this. Until we are prepared to accept, openly acknowledge, to fund the police, refund communities, we'll only repeat the cycle. Oh, shut up. The cycle of violence is happening in Indianapolis in the neighborhoods. It's not happening with the police. It's happening in my hometown of Gary, Indiana, with the people. It's not happening with the police. In Chicago, on the south side, idiots are killing idiots over stupid stuff. It ain't happening with the police. It's not. But that's what these idiots, nobody wants to address what's actual. What's actual is our communities, particularly African-American men, need to stop killing. They just do. I mean, you look it up, 13% uh, population doing 51% of the murders, but you could break that down even more and make it 6%. But we're not allowed to say that because that's just racist. No, it's not. It's facts. It's absolute facts. That's where it needs, we're, we're worried about like eight bazillion positive things that the police do. And one idiot does one bad thing, and now we got to defund everybody. The Oregon Justice Reform Coalition, listen, the brutality of law and order, cruelty in our prisons are connected by the same tumor, white supremacy. That's who the NFL is funding. Who do you think buys tickets to NFL games? What do you think the number is? Probably 90% white dudes. I don't know the answer to that, but I guarantee it's close. But we don't like white people. And this is who the NFL is funding. Seriously. This is who the NFL is saying, we need to. And then there's a group called the Vera Institute of Justice, dismantling the current culture of police, working towards defunding the police and shifting powers to communities. What is this, communism? What is this, socialism? Uh, Listen to this. This group amassed $174 million in revenue. And the guy who's running it got $420,000 in salary and benefits. These are all frauds like Black Lives Matter. These are all complete frauds. But we, the NFL, is just preying on us. Inspire change. Yeah, hey, I'll inspire some change. Get 8 million cops and, and, and guys like Reverend Charles Harrison and go through these communities every night and have a prosecutor that isn't afraid to put somebody's ass in jail. And I've talked to police about this ad nauseum. I've talked to community leaders about this ad nauseum. And it's all the same thing. 
We got police that are under attack. We got prosecutors that are in pocket with the, quote, communities. And the communities are the ones doing all the killing. We got such pride in our community. Yeah, your drugs are rampant. Murders are rampant. Robberies are rampant. Carjacking is rampant. I don't know what to tell you. And the prosecutor, Ryan Mears, here at least in Indianapolis, is feckless. He's got nothing. But the NFL wants us to inspire change by a hat. Oh, screw you. Screw you. How about supporting the police? See, the NFL's full of shit. The NFL decides we're going to we're going to partner with cops. We're going to have a police officer sing the national anthem. And then you're trying to defund the police at every turn. You're full of shit, Roger Goodell. And the fact that all these white owners are so afraid and everybody in the league is so afraid is ridiculous. Thank God for OutKick. Look, can my little show inspire change? Hell no. All I'm going to get out of this is an article where some idiot's going to tell you I'm racist because I don't smooch. But I've had these conversations with African Americans and they're right about. They're, they're like, you're right. Go, we need more pride in our community. What the hell's going on? If you talk to African American folks, they'll tell you I'm 100% right. And they hate it. I'm not talking about little thug guy with his pants around his ankles acting hard with his gun like this. Got my Glock, yo. Stop it, stupid. You're giving me a headache. You're giving me a freaking headache. You are. Groups who have received fun as part of Inspire Change, the NFL Social Initiative, include the Vera Institute of Justice. Got it right here. The Oregon Justice Resource Center and Community Justice Exchange. All three of these groups support the funding and abolishing the police. And this is who the NFL is supporting. Yeah, inspire this, mother. NFL, my ass. You're so full of crap. Hey, whatever happened to women cancer? Remember, everything was pink. Whatever happened to that? Guess the women's cancer people didn't pay the NFL enough. That'd be interesting to know. Remember like October was women cancer awareness and everything was pink from our shoelaces to our head? It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to tell you. But that's idiotic, ridiculous, and it pisses me off that we're trying to do that while under the guise of aligning themselves with our military, aligning themselves with our police officers. 